In this video, I will talk about N-type enhancement MOSFET. The word MOSFET is the acronym of Metal Oxide Semiconductor Field Defect Transistor. Metal Oxide Semiconductor Field Defect Transistor. Why I have to discuss the working principle of MOSFET separately? Because in my upcoming videos, I will talk about NMOS Inverter, NAND and NOR gate. PMOS inverter NAND and NOR gate and CMOS inverter NAND and NOR gate respectively. Therefore, you have to understand the working principle and switching properties of N type and P type MOSFET because in CMOS structure it contains one PMOS and one NMOS. Okay. The MOSFET transistor has become one of the most important devices used in the construction and design of integrated circuit for digital computers. Its thermal stability and other general characteristics make it popular in computer circuit design. The MOSFET can be broadly classified into depletion type MOSFET and enhancement type MOSFET. See the MOSFET. The MOSFET is broadly classified into depletion type MOSFET and enhancement type MOSFET. The depletion type MOSFET is further classified as P-type depletion MOSFET and N-type depletion MOSFET. The enhancement type MOSFET is further classified into P-type enhancement MOSFET and N-type enhancement MOSFET. In this video, I will show you the construction and working principle of N-type enhancement MOSFET and in the next video, I will show you the construction and working principle of P-type enhancement MOSFET. So, at first you have to understand the construction of a metal oxide semiconductor structure after that i will talk about the field effect which form the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor here i will talk about n type enhancement mosfet now i will discuss the construction of n type enhancement mosfet see we have to construct n type enhancement mosfet in an enhancement MOSFET, there is no inherent channel. Therefore, enhancement MOSFET works by accumulating inversion layer of charges in the channel region, which helps the electrons from the source terminal to move towards the drain terminal. As we have to construct N type enhancement MOSFET, at first we have to take a substrate which is the foundation of the MOSFET structure. And Usually we take P type substrate to construct N type enhancement MOSFET. Uh, let's say this rectangular shaped structure is our P type substrate and this P type substrate is a semiconductor structure and we get this P type substrate by doping a silicon structure with trivalent impurities. After taking this P type substrate we will take two heavily doped N type region inside this structure okay see these two structure will be our heavily doped n type structure usually we indicate the heavily doped region with n plus this n plus region is heavily doped that means the doping concentration in this region is very high after taking this n type heavily doped region we will deposit an oxide layer on top of this p type substrate usually we take silicon dioxide as the insulating layer or dielectric layer so let's say this will be our oxide or insulating layer this is silicon dioxide which has a dielectric constant of 9 on top of the silicon dioxide structure we will take a metallic layer which is known as ohmic contact and from that metallic contact we will take a terminal which is known as gate terminal okay see on top of this oxide layer we have deposited a metallic contact from which we will take out the gate terminal okay and after taking out this gate terminal we will deposit another two metallic contact on top of this heavily doped n-type region and on top of this heavily doped n-type region okay now see after depositing the metal contacts we will get our source terminal and drain terminal and the fourth terminal of this MOS structure is taken out from the substrate terminal and that substrate terminal is usually get shorted with the source terminal okay see 
this will be our fourth terminal and this is known as substrate or body terminal and this substrate terminal will get shorted with the source terminal now see why this is called MOS structure see we have this metal structure below which we have this oxide layer below which we have this p-type substrate which is a semiconductor so M from metal O from oxide and S from the semiconductor if we acronym that that will be our MOS MOS structure and this is the construction of n-type enhancement MOS structure now I will discuss the operation of n-type enhancement MOSFET before going into the discussion of operation at first you have to see we have to set proper bias in this MOS structure such that the electrons from the source terminal can easily move towards this drain terminal now see a MOSFET is biased with two voltage source first one is connected between the source terminal to drain terminal VDS and the second one is connected between the source to gate terminal VGS now see the voltage VDS will have positive and negative terminals and we have to connect the positive and negative terminals of this VDS in a way so that it creates a tendency of the source electrons to move towards the drain that means we will connect the negative terminal with the source terminal and we will connect the positive terminal of this VDS with the drain terminal therefore you will see the negative terminal of this VDS will force the electrons in this heavily doped region to move towards this drain region and this positive terminal will attract those electrons in the source terminal towards it because positive electrode attracts electron and the negative electrode repel or force electrons to go away so see this is our VDS voltage source whose positive terminal is connected with this drain terminal and negative terminal is connected with the source terminal and this negative electrode will force electrons in the source terminal to go in this direction and this positive electrode of this VDS will attract the electrons of the source to move towards the drain terminal after that we will have another voltage source which will be connected between the source terminal to gate terminal after connecting the VDS whose negative terminal with this terminal and ne positive terminal with the drain terminal we have to connect another voltage source VGS between the gate to source terminal it will have both positive and negative terminals now how do we connect the positive and negative terminals of this VGS see this is an enhancement MOSFET and enhancement MOSFET creates channel by accumulating minority carriers of the substrate see here we have this P type substrate that means minority carriers of this P type substrate will be electrons so we have to connect the positive electrode of this VGS at the gate terminal such that it can easily attract the electrons from the P type substrate or it can easily attract the minority carriers in the P type substrate towards this region which will form the channel and the negative terminal will be connected with the source terminal so in case of this VGS positive terminal will be connected with this gate terminal and negative terminal will be connected with this source terminal positive terminal will be connected with this gate terminal because it will attract the minority carriers of the p-type substrate towards this region to create the channel for the source electrons to move towards the drain electrons okay so this will be our VGS bias voltage whose positive terminal will be connected with the gate terminal and negative terminal will be connected with the source terminal so this will be the bias configuration of n-type enhancement MOSFET now I will describe the operation of n-type enhancement MOSFET for the normal amplifier and switching operation for this n-type enhancement MOSFET you will see the gate terminal is kept in higher potential with respect to source terminal that means the gate terminal will be positive and the source terminal will be 
negative so at first let me talk about the condition when vgs is equal to zero that means no bias voltage is applied at the gate terminal okay now see i have shorted the gate terminal with the source terminal that means as this is a short circuit voltage between this terminal to this terminal will be equal to zero volt now see as there is no voltage between the gate to source terminal you will see we have this p type substrate and we have this heavily doped source region therefore you will see there will be a pn junction or depletion layer formed between the source to substrate region and you will see as this is another heavily doped n type region there will be another pn junction or depletion region between the drain to substrate terminal and you may know that when we have depletion region between p type and n type material the depletion region prevents electrons to penetrate to the p type region and holes from p type to n type region now see if i apply a voltage let's say vds between this drain terminal to source terminal whose negative terminal will be connected with the source terminal and positive terminal will be connected with the drain terminal this negative terminal will force the electrons in the source terminal to move towards the drain terminal because you will see there will be a repulsive force to these electrons and there will be an attractive force to these electrons from this direction so there will be a tendency in those electrons to move in this direction but due to this pn junction between the source and substrate terminal electrons cannot move from the source to drain terminal if some electrons penetrate through this pn junction you will see we will have this p type substrate when holes get any electron immediately they recombine now see due to this vds if some electrons in the source region penetrate through this pn junction or through this depletion layer you will see if those electrons come to the p type substrate region the p type substrate region is full of holes whenever the electrons will enter in this region you will see p type holes will recombine with the electrons and neutralize them therefore it is not possible for us to move a single electron from the source terminal to this drain terminal as a result you will see as this is positive terminal and this is negative terminal the current through this region id the current from drain to source terminal id will be equal to zero and in this condition you will see the resistance between the source to drain terminal which is usually expressed with r d will be approximately 10 to the power 12 ohm which is very high resistance now see what will happen if i keep this gate terminal at higher potential with respect to the source terminal you will see positive terminal will be connected with the gate terminal and the negative terminal will be connected with the source terminal as the source is shorted with the substrate terminal so substrate terminal will be negative with respect to the gate terminal now see we have this positive terminal applied in the gate metal and the negative voltage is applied at the source terminal which will be expanded up to this heavily doped n type region that means this vgs is applied between this metal region to this heavily doped n type region now see this metal region will act as positive electrode and this heavily doped n type region will act as negative electrode therefore you will see as we have this dielectric between positive and negative electrode therefore we will get a capacitance and that capacitance will be oxide capacitance cox whose value will be equal to epsilon naught this is the permittivity of air which is equal to 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 epsilon r is the relative permittivity which is which is equal to 9 for silicon dioxide and this a is the area of the dielectric this d is the thickness of this dielectric now let me discuss how application of positive voltage at the gate terminal will affect on the carriers in the 
substrate region by transferring electric field through this silicon dioxide dielectric or insulating layer let's say i have this polar dielectric here you will see the dipoles are randomly oriented now see if i apply a bias voltage between this terminal in the two sides of the polar dielectric let's say i denote that voltage with vgs if the thickness of this dielectric is small d the electric field will be equal to e equal to vgs divided by d and here you will see as this is positive terminal and this is negative terminal electric field will be going from left to right now you will see when we will apply our bias voltage the electric field will be going in this direction the positive centers of the dipoles will feel a force in the direction of electric field that means our positive centers will feel a force in the indicated direction and our negative centers will experience a force in the opposite direction of the electric field therefore you will see they will be feeling a force in this direction and positive centers will be feeling a force in this direction now see when we have an entity in which we have two opposite forces acting on it therefore you will see there will be a rotating tendency in it which is known as couple and due to the coupling force in the dipoles you will see the dipoles will get aligned with the electric field okay so you will see this is how the dipoles will get aligned with the electric field now see in one side of the dielectric you will see we have accumulation of negative charges or negative centers of dipoles and in one side we have this positive centers of dipoles now see inside the dielectric region you will see the effect of the positive centers will get cancelled by the negative centers okay so this will get cancelled with this negative this positive will get cancelled due to this negative this is how inside the positive inside the dielectric you will see there will be no positive or negative force but in the surface you will see in this side we will get positive force or positive centers and in this side we will get negative centers now look at this silicon dioxide structure here we are applying positive terminal at this side therefore you will see we will get negative centers in this side and positive centers in this side okay now see if i apply positive voltage at the gate terminal with respect to this source terminal you will see a positive side will be created in the lower side of this dielectric as this is a p type substrate there will be holes everywhere in this substrate region as this is a positive side you will see this positive side will drive away the holes in this region toward the in the downward direction of this substrate therefore the positive voltage at the gate terminal leaves the electrons in this region uncovered to form the channel therefore you will see we will get a channel which is called induced electron or inversion channel okay now see if i keep increasing the value of vgs more holes will be driven away from this region and more electrons will be induced in this region so if the voltage of if the gate to source voltage vgs is equal to vth which is known as threshold voltage you will see we will get a proper channel such that the electrons from the source terminal can easily move from this source terminal and this vth is the minimum voltage that is required to form a channel between this source to drain terminals upon applying sufficient vds initially when vgs equal to zero there are holes everywhere in this region if i make the voltage of vgs slightly positive you will see we will get induced electrons in this region but that will not be sufficient if i keep increasing and if i set the value of vgs equal to vth you will see there will be enough number of induced electrons which will help the electrons in the source region to move toward this drain region if i keep increasing vgs you will see more electrons will be induced here as you will see 
the elect the amount of electrons are increasing in this region more electrons can go from the source terminal to, towards drain terminal so you will see upon increasing vgs you will see we will get a current nature like this and you will see the source electrons will be moving towards this drain region now see by using this region source electrons will be moving towards the drain terminal that's why this is known as induced electron channel okay this region is known as channel region which is created due to the induced electrons in this region okay now i will discuss the drain characteristics of this n type enhancement mosfet see when i will set this vgs is less than vth when our get to source voltage vgs will be less than threshold voltage in that case the channel will provide a very high resistance which is around 10 to the power 12 ohm because of that the current id in the circuit will be equal to zero current will be flowing from this train to source terminal id will be nearly equal to zero but in actual practice current is not equal to zero a small amount of current does flow through this mosfet and that small current is due to the thermally generated electrons in this p type substrate now see if i apply vgs greater than vth you will see we will get induced electrons in this region therefore upon application of this vds we will see there will be movement of electrons from the source terminal towards this drain terminal now see if i keep this vgs constant you will see if i gradually increase this vds initially the movement of electrons will increase slowly therefore the current id will increase linearly see if i let's say in this mosfet vth is equal to 2 after that if i said vgs equal to 3 volt which is greater than threshold voltage you will see we will get some induced electrons in this channel region therefore if i gradually increase vds initially the current will increase linearly after that all the source electrons will contribute in current conduction therefore our current our transistor will be in saturation if i increase the value of vgs further you will see more electrons will be induced in this channel therefore if i increase this vds you will see initially the change in current will be linear after that all the source electrons will contribute in current conduction therefore our current will be fixed or that region will be saturation region see if i set the value of voltage equal to 5 volt vgs equal to 5 volt you will see more amount of electrons will be induced in this channel therefore if i gradually increase this vds if i slowly increase the value of this vds you will see initially the change of current will be linear after that the current will be constant through the channel and that constant current is known as saturation current this is how if i increase the value of vgs you will see more amount of holes more amount of electrons will be induced in the channel upon application of vds or upon changing vgs we will get a curve of this nature initially it will change slowly or linearly after that it will go in the saturation region so this will be our id vds curve for different fixed vgs now see these three are the symbols of n type mosfet see in this symbol there is no bubble in case of p type mosfet we will set a bubble here if i use this symbol you will see in the source terminal we will have an arrow sign or if i use this symbol the substrate terminal is shorted with the source terminal the direction of substrate terminal will be inward okay that's it thank you